one of the primary reasons when there is income disparities in the world as we see in the world today there's a vast range of difference between standards of living of people but when you refer to income disparities it's not about income alone it's also about the mindset if you're conditioned to be just like any other animal or living species on earth the primal instinct is to go behind food and we as humans as we have discussed before should understand that we are all about creativity we are humans just because we are creative otherwise we are just one with any other living species on earth which includes animals the only difference which makes us a human is because we have creativity if you're going to negate that and then go back into the carnal instincts within us which is one with all other living species it means that we do not respect the greatest gift to humanity which is being one with the creative force of the universe in very minute degrees you cannot be one with the creative force of the universe anyone for that matter you know we have that kind of ability given to us in very minute degrees you know so once we understand that we are be able to access that force and secondly why there is income disparities is we are not using those creative energies to work with the energies of the earth towards the future and once you understand that the creative energies is sustaining our lives be it the oxygen water air seasons rains food everything that we see around us in terms of the systems of life which nourish us which includes why we are at present on earth because of the gravitational force if that gravitational force was not there we would be one with the space <laughs> and we would be traveling at the highest speeds in space so that's just a point of view but that's the reality also the gravitational force keeps us grounded the energy of the universe powers our souls keeping us alive all of our cells working in our body so once we begin to be grateful for these forces which contribute to our lives we are we are moving into the creative force of the universe we are no longer wanting you know and everything that is wanted on earth is being provided because our subconscious is being one with the creative source of abundance that is one the third thing is human made you know now humans have evolved over periods of time and during the periods of time there all always needed to be labor you know <laughs> there needed to be people working hard there needed to be people you know producing food moving transport moving goods and there had to be people with the right kind of mindset to get all of these things working and according to their mindset if everyone had enough there wouldn't be people to work in the fields there wouldn't be people to work in the lubrication system of the markets by which people start to work from the lower strata to the highest strata to the decision makers who make things work now to that degree of thinking people were kept in a different stratas of working which means that there had to be laborers there had to be people to transport there had to be people to do manual work and that was the history and rightfully so it is the history of the earth people were kept within their strata and when people were kept within the strata over a period of time their mindset also evolved and they wouldn't be able to cross that field because the mindset had evolved over thousands of years being in that kind of strata of society so if someone was a laborer 
and if their families were in that kind of thinking for a thousand years it would be very difficult for them to move into the next step of the strata of the society because the minds had been conditioned subconsciously and also by instinct over thousands of years to move in that kind of thinking now with regards to the future with the evolution of AI and deep learning as the greatest of understanding to humans and also with the evolution of robots <laughs> with the chips embedded to do the work which is done manually we no longer need to dwell on that kind of mindset where we keep people in different levels of society because that was the way the world worked that was the grease of the world by which we had different people different stratas of societies working in different fields so that the world worked as the way we see as of now but into the future we will have the greatest of deep learning systems robots to do all kinds of work and they will be programmed by chips so we no longer need to keep humans within that kind of line of thinking which we have as of now now once we give humans the basic food water shelter and basic education and also we empower them to work with the creative energies of the world and not lead them into destruction with the energy of turmoil once we give them the right kind of knowledge or give them the therapies into the future which will be 10 or 50, 20 or 50 or 100 years from now people will start to evolve with the creative force of the universe people will start to move with the creative energies of the universe as well as they do not have to work 24 hours in a manual labor as we see today or no one can work 24 hours but what I mean by 24 hours is their kind of lifestyle you know which involves a lot of manual work with certain people that can be avoided into the future and that will be avoided into the future and humans will also start to move into the creative source which means that you will have more humans contributing to the future of the future of a universe there'll be robots programmed as we see in certain nations now to do most of the manual work which includes your gardening your cook your chef by which you needed all these manual labor you know in certain strata of society they will be done by robots and as of now you can see it's already a reality you have a robot butler you have a robot chauffeur you know in some of the developed countries it's already a reality so it's the next 10 to 50 20 or 25 50 years it will be an absolute reality all across the world so the world will start to concentrate on humans to work with the universal energies of the earth anyone who's a, a, out of that kind of line of thinking which is one with the dark source or with the destructive kind of thinking will be sent into therapy sessions which might be just 25 minutes to 30 minutes by which the neurons work with the energies of the universe thereby their lives are also blessed they moved away from the destructive source of themselves and moved into the creative sense of the universe which is the creative life balancing force all around us the oxygen the wind the water everything which sustains life for our earth today for the generations into the future for the unborn child for the new world which we conceive which is already a reality as of now we're in the beginning stages in the next 10 25 50 years you would see ai systems helping humans you will find robots moving with humans and humans themselves are also a part of the vast knowledge of the supercomputers of the world through the chips within them which is as of now just outside them on the phone it will be within them so that they can access any kind of information at any time diseases will be minimized 
in terms of its impact at its early age which means that someone who was going to have cancer at the age of 60 or 70 by which the genes were pre-programmed at the birth stage as we know most of the genes in terms of cancer are programmed during birth and during the age of 50 60 you find you know cancers and all kinds of degenerative diseases those things those kind of diseases will be eliminated which starts within the genes you will have better quality of life into the future so let's move with the energies of the universe along with the systems of deep learning AI the greatest of chips which is already helping us empowering us communicate get information move about places get everything as we see in the world modern world today get us the best kind of entertainment lighting systems transport systems all being empowered by the chips and these chips will move into greater abilities which will be thousands of times more but the only difference should be in terms of human evolution and human progress and human prosperity should be that we work with the energies of the universe along with the greatest of deep learning systems along with the greatest of robots which will help us with the greatest of advancements into the future along with us and for the future generations and along with the creative source of everything we see around us the energy of the godly force the source code of God let's replenish our earth